Hello, friends. I'm going to talk about three ways to initiate the downswing, and two of them are wrong, but very popular. The first one I call Elephant Parade. When I was a kid, seeing elephants walking down the high street, swinging their trunks back and forth. And we bend over in golf, even with a wood. So our head is forward and our tailbone is back. It's very tempting, instead of rotating the shoulders to form a turn, that we use our big muscles, our legs, to actually swivel our hips. And then what happens is your body ends up over here and the swing emanates from your neck. And so the disc of your golf swing is now in this position. Well, then you have to do the opposite on the way down. And I see this quite commonly, even if it's subtle, where golfers in the last foot of the backswing, and partly to get a good look at the ball, but also because they're anticipating the need to apply force, they subtly swivel with their legs, their tailbone toward their right heel, and their head toward their left toe. And then they hit. Now, if they hit without any further adjustment, they hit a deep divot pull draw into the trees, and it's just not pleasing. But unfortunately, anybody with some intuitive skill will then start to guide the club away from them and hold the club open to get the ball more airborne and less to the left, not to mention avoiding a deep divot. So that is the first of the two that I dislike, which is elephant parade, applying force in the last foot of the backswing and first foot of the downswing by moving the head left. The second one, is commonly referred to as over the top. Now, that term generally through the history of the literature of golf talked about how at the end of the swing, the arms would be lifted up and thrown forward of the disc or even the target line and then have to work to get back to the ball with very similar results, blasting it in the left trees. But usually they would already have lagged the club so long that it would just be a big slice. So over the top was talked about regarding that. Uh, now, I'm old enough to remember a movie with Sylvester Stallone called Over the Top. It was about arm wrestling. And I actually think that the arm wrestling approach uh, is actually more insidious and quite worth mentioning. At the end of a perfectly good setup and backswing, people at the end of the backswing, almost like they've been cattle prod, try to arm wrestle and win in the first inch of the downswing. And it's all starting from the right shoulder. It lifts up, the elbow pops out, and the hand tries to get over here. And that little sudden application of force is um, a very destructive thing because it delivers the club too steeply, going to the left, and usually requires the corrections I've already listed. So over the top, like Sylvester Stallone, is one of the variants. Now the one we like. Ben Hogan, of course, talked about the elbow, as did many golfers. And once you've got ready well, and you've swung back correctly, your right elbow is going to be bent. Now, Jack Nicholas was a little touchy about being accused of having a flying right elbow. He said, no, it's pointing down. It's just away from the body. And he was, of course, right, best golf ever. So here's what I think Ben Hogan contributed of great value. And I certainly find it to be true with my clients. Start the downswing thinking that you're going to lead it with your right elbow. With the right elbow leading, and even feeling like it's underneath the left one as you swing down, then your wrists will remain hinged uh, and you'll have what they call lag. And then the wrists will straighten out just as you get to the ball and have that position that Ben Hogan, again, very much favored where the club only, the wrists only straightened out at the ball, and then the arms and club were in the straight line, both arms straight from there until, as he described it, a little into the follow through. I would add also with your head maintained to the right, what they call behind the ball.